this morning it is about 51 degrees it's October 1st 2015 with the wind chill it's 47 degrees outside if you look at my apartment window directly in front of me on the first floor the right window you notice a pan tilt and zoom infrared night vision IP camera and then the left window just right of the pine tree the bottom right window you'll see a webcam that is running free software called Yaw Cam by AWCAM for people that need cheap CCTV Yaw Cam will turn any webcam into a motion activated camera that you can use for anti theft. Now bear with me here, I gotta ride real slow out of my complex. They uh, had a uh, pavement grinder grind up the top like uh, three quarters of an inch of uh, pavement. They're gonna be laying down fresh asphalt here in a day or two. While I continue on uh, my topic. So, uh, Yaw Cam, which is a free software, it's made by a developer in Europe. Um, they developed it with frustration of that there wasn't a, uh, a, a free software out there that someone could just use to make a webcam, you know, record motion. And how it, did, how it works is it, it analyzes the video frame for change. So basically it's just monitoring a, a video feed from the camera and when the uh, when the video feed changes and it detects motion, it starts recording video or still pictures, depending on how you configure it. And uh, the best way to do it, I have found, if you don't want to have gigabytes and gigabytes of video, is have it record pictures. And uh, it has a a grid that overlays the uh, the viewed image from the webcam. So say for instance, uh, you got trees up high, you got some bushes to the sides and you want to record near the middle of the frame or the bottom of the frame, you know, something like that. You can only highlight the boxes on the grid that cover over the screen and only motion in those areas will trigger the uh, the recording or the still frame uh, picture taking, which is very useful, you know, because if, uh, if it records video or motion, trees swinging in the wind, bushes swinging in the wind, that's enough to uh, trip it. Uh, actually, a software is good enough if you set it sensitive enough that it will even catch a bird flying side to side past the camera. Um, I just have a Microsoft HD webcam. It's nothing too special uh it's, it's 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 quite old now i think i bought it probably around 2005 for roughly 50 dollars on sale i know today you can get cameras far far cheaper than that on a webcam um i have it set to record 640 by 480 images and my microsoft camera is actually a megapixel cam so you do not need uh you know a high-end camera just something now to record uh, 640 by 480, but I have noticed with experimentation from different cameras that a megapixel camera, even taking the lower the lower res photos, does give you better picture quality. And uh, the software allows you to adjust quite a lot of parameters. Um, you know uh, how much compression you want on the images or the video. Uh, so you can tweak it to your heart's content. Uh, my personal preference is when I ended up configuring it, uh, I configured the date and time stamp, which you can put in any of the four quarters of the, uh, the video. And when it detects motion, it will take three pictures spaced two seconds apart. So someone walks by, it'll go picture, two seconds, picture, two seconds, picture, two seconds and then check for more motion. If there isn't any more motion, it won't take any more photos. 
if there's still motion going on and it will continue taking a picture every two seconds and and then until the motion stops and then it will uh, it'll just wait for more motion uh, doing so and keeping the photos uh, the photo size small well, the 640 by 480 you're still gonna wind up if you tweak your settings on the sensitivities uh, to where they work uh, uh, more more hair trigger uh, than uh, than blatant movement. Um, you're gonna probably get around 13 to 20,000 still images a day. Uh, that's a lot of images, uh, but Yaw Cam comes with a feature that makes it quick for you to scan images uh, by converting them into a video. Uh, it'll convert them into a QuickTime format, but what you can do is, when you configure the video, uh, I have it set to show three frames or three still pictures per second. So, even though the, when it's actually physically taking the photos, uh, when I, if I convert them into a video to watch a video feed for a day, like say, I noticed something was moved or maybe, uh, you know, like uh, I noticed my car's got a scratch or my motorcycle's been sat on or something like that. I'll convert it to the video that still pictures the video and I'll have it play back three of those photos per second. So you'll probably get about an 11 minute, the 15 minute file doing so for uh, a couple of days worth of activity, but it allows you to quickly, quickly go through the footage and see what's going on. And, oh my gosh, you're starting to pave this section of road. Well, oh, hallelujah. Wow. All right, I digress. Um, they, uh, <laughs> it's been like two years this road's been ripped up. But uh, yeah, the video feature uh, for converting the still picks to video so you can review it quickly is very good. Um, I used to program for a few years uh, based off a guy off the Kawasaki Ninja forums and the gentleman uh, actually showed a video of uh, someone backing up into, an, into his motorcycle in a parking lot across from his uh, apartment window. And fortunately, they didn't knock his bike over um, and there was minimal damage. But the video shows how good it, you know, how good it will work. Um, and what he did was, you know, he just made the video of the still frames with the software. Um, what I recommend for running this is uh, a low-powered PC. Um, I have not tried uh, an Arduino or other similar super small f form factor PC, but I do have two Acer Aspire uh, computers that are low-powered. Um, I have an Acer Aspire laptop, which runs an Intel Atom processor, and uh, uh, I was running Yaw Cam on that for years. Uh, but instead of recording on a hard drive, I had it recording to a USB stick. So I wasn't putting wear and tear on the hard drive. That way the hard drive could go to sleep and not spin and, and put wear and tear on it. And uh, I could, uh, I would record on a 16 gigabyte stick. Now with the bigger USB drives, you know, you can get yourself like a 128 gig USB stick for, you know, chunk change. Use that to record all the video or, or still pics. And, uh, and review it and manually uh, delete files off it as needed. Uh, it's an excellent way to do it. Um, a solid state drive now would work, work as well.